Good morning, dumplings. This is Miss Neely. Or good afternoon. I'm not sure when you might see this. It is the holiday season, and I know y'all are excited because you start getting Christmas books in September. So this is the deal. We're almost there. So I, of course, have a Christmas story for today. A Christmas for Bear. And it looks like it's really funny. It's by Bonnie Becker. So she's the author. And it's illustrated by Katie McDonald Denton. So if she did the illustrations, what did she make? The pictures. And then there's the little artwork. A Christmas for Bear. Bear had never had a real Christmas. He'd never had a tree with sparkling star or candy canes or even gingerbread bears, but he'd read all about it. Clearly, the most important thing was Pickles? That's odd. Do you celebrate with pickles? I don't. One frosty night, Bear heard a tap, 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 tapping on his front door. It looks like he is cooking. Tap, tap, tap. When he opened the door, there was Mouse, small and gray and bright-eyed. Merry Christmas, cried Mouse. Mm, maybe, said Bear. Ooh, and there's Little Mouse. Looks like he's holding a little piece of holly. There's a little warm, cozy den. Bear had agreed to have a Christmas party. He'd never had one before. Do we open the presents first? Mouse asked eagerly. Presents, Bear shook his head. Most unseemly. And I think by that he means it's sort of tacky. Mouse's eyes popped open wide. No presents? We shall sit around the tree and eat. I might even read a poem. Surely that will do. The bear went back to the kitchen to get the Christmas pickles. The pickles? Very, very strange. And then there's the little mouse. I think he's in disbelief. He wants to think there's really presents. But when he came back, no mouse. Mouse, where are you? Mouse didn't answer. Where could he be? I don't see him. Do you see him anywhere? I don't. Bear heard a tiny scuffling around. It was coming from upstairs. Bear climbed the stairs to his bedroom. He hears some scrabbling. The scurry sound was under his bed. Mouse, yes, came a muffled voice. Are you looking for a present? Mouse peeped up from under the bed. He had a bit of dust on his nose. Mm, perhaps. <laughs> and I love that there's Mouse looking up at Bear. 
Bear looking down at Mouse. Unnecessary hogwash, Bear scolded. We have pickles, remember? Oh, said Mouse. And Mouse trudged behind Bear back to the living room. Oh, Bear looks a little annoyed and Mouse looks a little sad. Bear went to the kitchen to get the cheese. That sounds like something that Mouse would like. Except Mouse, it looks like, is checking out that hat. Hoping a present is in there. But when he got back to the living room, no Mouse. Mouse, you're looking for a present again, aren't you? And look, there's some delicious cheeses there. Maybe, came a tiny voice. It was out in the hall. Bear opened the closet door. And Mouse is somewhere in there. He opened the closet door. There was Mouse. Small and gray and guilty-eyed. Not even one tiny present! Mouse cried. And there he is, so sad. The pickles are from France, declared Bear. But surely, said Mouse. And furthermore, continued Bear, I shall be reading a long and difficult poem. Oh, I don't think that sounds like a lot of fun for Mouse. Then, Bear headed back to the kitchen to go get the cookies. But before he got there, he quietly turned and tiptoed back to the living room. No mouse, of course. Mouse. I don't see mouse in there. Mouse. Mouse <laughs> scampered out from behind the tree, tinsel dangling from one ear. <laughs> See that tinsel? Pickles and poems, bellowed the bear. That is the Christmas spirit. Yes, bear, sighed Mouse. Sad little mouse. Mouse sat in front of the crackling fire. Bear served them pickles and cheese and cookies and tea, smelling of cinnamon and oranges. Bear nibbled and sipped. Mouse did too, but his tail was sad. Bear cleared his throat. <coughs> Mouse looked up. There's all the treats. And there's Mouse, a little sad with his snack. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, Bear pronounced, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Bear stared seemly. Oh, Bear stared sternly at the mouse. The pickles are wonderful, whispered Mouse. Bear continued, the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Oh, and little Mouse, he's hugging that little pickle. Bear paused and glanced at Mouse. Mouse took a mournful bite of his pickle. Mournful means he's real sad. He took a really sad bite of his pickle. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, 
bear repeated more loudly. The stockings! Little Mouse is falling off his perch. Then the pickle goes flying. Mouse leapt up. His eyes as bright as Christmas candles. You do have a present for me, he cried, pointing at the mantle. You have stockings. Certainly not. Impossible, monstrous assumption, rumbled Bear. But he was smiling. <laughs> and then there's little Mouse excited about the no it's not yeah there's little mouse up there excited about the stockings mouse scrambled into his stocking and popped back out with a package wrapped in sparkling red paper bear looked on eagerly as mouse tore off the wrapping it's it's the best present ever bear announced proudly even if it's not a pickle. Inside was a shiny silver telescope. Bear hurried Mouse into the crisp winter night. Mouse pointed the telescope toward the glowing moon. Most wonderful. Thank you, Bear. Yes, indeed. Bear smiled and then looked at Mouse. Well, what? Mouse was busy stu studying the sky with his new telescope. Mouse, you didn't forget, did you? Bear looked most stricken. Pickles and poems, said Mouse. Then he turned the telescope toward a nearby fir tree. And presents. Bear peeking out from the snowy branches was a big, Red bow. Bear hurried over and pulled out a wooden sled with a shiny red runners. I've always wanted a sled with shiny red runners, said Bear. Thank you, Mouse. You are, you are an excellent companion. Someone of whom I'm most fond of. You're my best friend, too, said Mouse, with a happy flick of his whiskers. Merry Christmas, Bear. Merry Christmas, Mouse. All the two friends. The Mouse and Bear jumped on the sled and swooped down the hill under the shining stars of Christmas. Okay. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.